Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about why I love living in Wellington, New Zealand. Specifically, five things that I love about Wellington and why I think it is the bomb city to be living in. So stay tuned, subscribe below, and here we go. Okay, the first thing, when I think about why I love Wellington, New Zealand, it's just the vibe of the city. Like the city has just this awesome vibe. It is very, it has a whole artsy side to it. It has lots of culture to it. It has just amazing restaurants and it's just right on the waterfront and you got the mountains behind and it's just the whole vibe of the city. And so when I go there on the weekends, there's always stuff going on along the waterfront uh, and just like just the feel of the city. And then when you're there, like during the day, during the work week, and there's just people in suits walking everywhere, and there's just like this vibe of, of business and industry and so many cool things going on, and I just love the vibe of the city. It even has like a decent nightlife, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Uh, really cool, old, neat theaters uh, with so much history, and it's just, I could go on and on and on. But if you've ever been in Wellington, you know that it has like this vibe to it and it's just really great because it kind of has just like a little bit of everything. You've got beachfront, you got the harbor, and then we have like the whole city life and then we got cafes and we got like this art district on Cuba Street and it's just really great. So if you haven't been to Wellington, New Zealand, I highly recommend it and you'll just love the vibe of the city. Okay, the second thing that I love about Wellington, New Zealand is the size of the city. So you can think of like a really big city like New York City or like I'm from a smaller city in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Wellington is a small city but it just has this great like I just talked to you about the vibe but like the size is nice like it doesn't have this overwhelming big feeling it's not this traffic jam that I you know you experience when you're in Chicago it's just like a smaller city that but kind of has everything and it's just nice and enjoyable to be around it's clean for the most part and it's just it's great so the population of the city of Wellington is about 215,000 just in the city but then if you add the suburbs it's more like 430,000 so you can get a sense that it's pretty small overall so it's really nice that it kind of has everything for a population that's that small compared to, you know, say big cities in the U.S. But I just really love the size. The size just makes you feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm, you know, there is traffic during peak seasons of the day, but it's not like overwhelming and you're not sitting there for hours. And it's like, you don't have to schedule your life around the traffic in Wellington. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, it's just really great. The size um, really helps you, I think, enjoy the city and I just love it. And so I think size has something to do with it. I don't know that I love being in cities in general, like I am a city person, but I just think um, I prefer like the smaller size cities than uh, like the really, really big ones. Okay, now the third thing that I love about living in Wellington is the cafe culture. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, I've been pretty clear about how much I like coffee, <laughs> but it's just like this cafe vibe. There's lots of cafes where you can sit outside if it's a nice day and they're just everywhere. Like Wellington, like I said, was not a big city, like 215,000 people, but it has over 300 cafes, just cafes that are generally open from like 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they're just everywhere, everywhere you turn. Like even if you go to one of the museums, there's a cafe. There's just cafes everywhere and they're all really nice. You know, and like, I don't, you're just not going to be disappointed in the coffee that you get in the city of Wellington. They just have really good coffee. Now I could definitely recommend some places, but in general, if you were to just go to a cafe in Wellington, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed <laughs> going to a cafe. It just, the baristas are really good and the coffee is just so good. And I just really, really um, love that whole cafe culture and just how, the, how much, importance they put on coffee. Like it's not uncommon for people here to have two, three coffees a day. Um, and they're not real big compared to like the American Starbucks cup, but they're small, but they're so good. And it's just, it's just adds to the whole vibe and feel to the city. Okay. Now the fourth thing that I absolutely love about 
living in Wellington is just the, the combination of mountains and the beautiful ocean or the sea harbor. So you have the beautiful view of the water, but you also have all the mountains surrounding it. So you have like the water and you kind of have the city and then the mountains all up on the side and it's just amazing. And I think that that really adds to why you love the city, you know, cause most of the places that you go to, they'll either have really good beaches or they'll have beautiful mountains, but there's not a lot of places that have both. There are. But there's just, it just kind of has all of it and it has the beautiful bush and you, it's just ah, the beauty. Like there's this, that's definitely a reason why you love Wellington is it's so beautiful. Uh, and so like you can go to work and it's not uncommon for people to just go mountain biking or their lunch break or go on a nice hike into the mountains to see an amazing view. Uh, some people like to run along the waterfront or bike or scooter or whatever just kind of gets you outside and kind of refreshes you as you finish your day of work. And it's just great. There's just boats moving and there's just like that feel and so beautiful wherever you are in the city. And I think that that really adds to why Wellington is so great is that it just has mountains and sea and bush. It's so amazing. If you have not come to Wellington, please do. And the fifth reason why I love Wellington so much is I know I just talked about how beautiful it is, but I just, we need to make a special mention for the waterfront, the harbor. So like Auckland is on the waterfront too. And it's, I don't know, it's not Wellington. It's not as beautiful. I just love the waterfront and it kind of goes on forever and it goes around. And then you have the Southern part of Wellington. It just, it's amazing. And there's, it's, and it's big. And the, you just have, I have to acknowledge the waterfront because that is just a big part, I think, of why people would live in Wellington because you're just on the water. And so it's not that you're just on the water in Wellington. If you go into the suburbs where I live, which is like 20 minutes away, and then you even go 30, 40 minutes away, you're still all along the water. So there's just so many suburbs that are along the water, which I think makes Wellington very, very appealing. <laughs> And just, it's just so beautiful. So kind of, if you ever get up high anywhere, any sort of height in the Wellington, the Hutt Valley, Miramar area, and you get, you see the harbor and it is just beautiful. And I just, I just think that that has to have its own category because yes, I did the beauty of Wellington is a lot more than its harbor, but man, I think that that is a big reason why I think a lot of people would actually live in Wellington. So are you convinced that you should visit Wellington, New Zealand, or live here if you can. It's an amazing place. There's amazing countryside and beautiful cities all over New Zealand as a whole, but man, Wellington has my heart. And so please come check it out if you've never been, because I just don't think that you'll be disappointed, especially if you like some of the things that I mentioned in this video. So subscribe below, because you're not gonna wanna miss a video coming up. I'm gonna record a video on some of my favorite spots to visit when you do come to Wellington. So make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss that video when it comes out and I will see you all next week.